Have you debated on getting an Arsenal camera assistant? If so, keep watching and I'll show you how you could replicate most of the functions for under $20. Hey, thanks for coming. My name's Terence and this is Photography in 123. If this is the first time you've come to this channel and you want to learn more about photography and taking better photographs, hit subscribe now and click the bell notification icon to stay up to date with new videos. If you don't know what the Arsenal camera assistant is and you haven't seen any ads for it, then check out my link up here that explains exactly what it is. There are several features that the Arsenal camera assistant boasts. But you have to ask yourself, do I really need the Arsenal camera assistant when it costs $250? I'm going to answer this question and I believe the answer is no. You can do most of what it boasts for very, very cheap. I think you can do a lot of this for what you have in your camera right now or for a cheap $20 add-on. And let me show you what I mean. So the Arsenal boasts a whole bunch of features. So if we scroll over to the features page, uh, we could take a look at what's going on. So they say there's AI capabilities but the core features are one, take sharper photos, two, live view with your phone, three, stacking made easy, four, always shoot the sweet spot, five, take great shots in tricky light, six, capture long exposures, seven, the best photo review, eight, capture stunning time lapses. Uh, these are all fantastic features to have, but I'm going to show you how many of these you could do fairly easily without an arsenal. The first feature that they actually tout is taking sharper photos and frankly all photographers want sharper photos, that's a good thing. However, you don't need to use the arsenal to get there. All you have to do is learn the fundamental techniques of how to take a sharp photo and you're good as gold. And I've got a video showing you just exactly how to do that. Click at the link right up here and you can go to that video right now and you're going to learn the seven steps to take really sharp, sharp photos. Those core techniques include, at a high level, uh, use of a tripod or stabilizing your camera somehow, using a cape release or a self timer, using mirror lockup, and I do have a video right here as well in the in the card that came up that'll show you how to use mirror lockup. Turn your stabilization off. I've got a video right here showing you how to do that. Uh, use your sharpest aperture. I'll explain that in the video. Uh, good lens quality and use your lowest ISO. So really, if you just do those seven very simple things, that's all you really need to do to take a sharp photo. You don't need the arsenal to do that. I'm sure it'll make it a lot quicker putting a lot of these settings on and off for you. Uh, you know, so maybe it'll save you 30 seconds on a shot for turning some of these on and off, but that's not a whole lot of value for 250 bucks. For a tech head like me, the feature of having live view on your smartphone is actually somewhat compelling, but not necessarily needed. You know, I have a GoPro uh, Hero Session. Having the live view on my phone is critical because you don't have that on the GoPro and you can control everything a lot better on your smartphone than you can on the GoPro itself. However, uh, on cameras like my uh, Canon 5D Mark II or many, many, many other DSLRs built in the, I don't know, past decade, uh, you could simply, almost always, just press a button and get your live view up like this. So it's not really adding anything to your uh, your DSLR that you didn't already have. It's a feature you have already built in. Uh, they're selling it like a feature. Really, it's a, it's a component that's required for you to control your uh, Arsenal camera assistant uh, from your phone. So you need to have that, I get it. But don't tout that as a feature because it's really not a feature. The next item they actually talk about is stacking made easy. Uh, and you know what, that's something I could see a lot of benefit out of the arsenal. So I'll give it some credit here. If it is a device you could put on your camera and do stacking without having to take your images off your camera, put it into a, a program on your computer, do the stacking work, and it'll do it automatically for you, that's great. The other point they make is always shoot the sweet spot. So to me, this is one of those features that they added that is really not a feature. So if we scroll up here, stacking made easy. That pretty much is what they're talking about by saying always shoot the sweet spot. You know, unless I'm missing something here. Uh, it's the same thing. It's merging the different images, the different focal positions to get incredibly sharp shots. And, uh, and that stacking here is taking multiple shots and merging them to capture detail that's lost in a single exposure. Tell me that's not saying the exact same thing. So they're listing this as two features. This is one feature. Don't be fooled. Uh, Again, I think it's a feature that's great, I love it, but it is truly just one feature. The next item they say is great shots in tricky light. You know what, that's 
a good feature. And uh, you know, if you look at the example they have right here, where you have a little scene where you're taking dark, mid, and, and high, and merging them all and getting an HDR photo, fantastic. It's a good thing. It's a good feature. It will save you a bit of time. Uh, newsflash. All you need to do is bracketing and any DSLR or any more modern DSLR of the 5, 10 years will give you the ability to do bracketing where it's going to take three photos in quick succession uh, at a darker exposure, the exposure is set in a lighter exposure and you take those three photos, put it into your computer and you can use an HDR program, there's lots of them out there, merge it to get a photo like they're showing here. So. Is this something you really need the uh, the Arsenal camera assistant to do? Uh, you know, it certainly helps. It'll speed up your uh, your workflow potentially. Um, but if it's doing all the the edits and the changes for you, and you don't get to dial in and adjust how you want things, then that's not so good because you'll probably want to have some amount of control on the creative process. Otherwise, you can get some really gaudy, ugly-looking HDR photos depending on how they have this set up. Uh, hopefully the uh, the interface to your smartphone lets you control that uh, in the Arsenal camera uh, assistant. But if not, it's probably better to put those photos into your program on your computer and do it. And uh, just 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 do it that way because that'll be a lot uh, easier if they don't give you that control. They also say capture long exposures. Great. If you look at their example here, fantastic. I love what they end up with there. Great long exposure shot. I love doing this kind of photography. Do you need the arsenal to do this? Uh, you know, sadly, I can have to say no, you don't. You just have to learn the basic techniques. If you go to my video uh, creating silky waterfall effects, it's essentially going to be the all the same techniques for long exposures, and you can learn what you need to do. They say, oh, you, you can do this without having to spend money on an ND filter. Well, guess what, guys? You could buy an ND filter for like 30, 40 bucks for your lens. Uh, a lot cheaper than 250 for um, for what they're uh, they're pitching here. Now it's nice that they can do it for you and it's automated. Is it a need to have? No, you can do it on your own. Next, they're saying the best photo review, so uh, you could see all the photos you've taken and all the, the work that's done, and review them wirelessly on your phone. You can go through them quickly, full resolution, share them right from your phone. I'll admit that's kind of a cool feature. I, I do like it. Uh, you know, I put my files on my computer anyways for stuff that uh, that I work on and upload from my computer. If some of these functions actually do save on the workflow and they do come up with a good product and I could go through it on my phone quickly, see what I like, put it on my phone from the uh, from the Arsenal camera assistant wirelessly and then upload it via the internet to uh, Facebook or wherever I'm going to share it. That's great. That's kind of cool. Um, is it critical? No, not in my mind, but uh, but it's certainly a nice to have feature. The final feature they talk about is capture stunning time lapses. I think that's a great thing to have um, in general, but do you really need to have this component to do this? Uh, I would say maybe it depends what your, your objective is. If you're doing time lapses of fun things with family or just more personal stuff, I can tell you right now, the device you're using right now uh, to watch this video, probably an iPhone, Samsung, whatever it might be, you can get an app to do time lapses very easily. All you have to do is set up on a tripod, get it stable, uh, and use an app, at least on the iPhone, like called iMotion is the one I use right now. You can do very good time lapses in, uh, in 1080i or 1080p, and they look fantastic. You have a lot of control over that. It's great. Now, if you're looking to create really high-end time lapses like, uh, like they're demoing in this video here, yeah, you know, I, I can see why it's useful to have that on your DSLR. Uh, and if you can do all the processing on board of the, uh, the uh, Arsenal camera assistant to get this quality of video or this kind of uh, time lapse of the, the star trails, fantastic, even better. That, that's pretty cool. So I'd say it really depends what your goal is with a time lapse. If it's to do high end photography like this, uh, then yeah, it's probably worthwhile. If it's to do more recreational time lapse or fun, like the one that was just right there, the guys moving around, um, I would say you do not need to have the arsenal for that. Get something like iMotion app for the iPhone or the different apps that are out there, and that will be just as sufficient for what you want to do. You don't have to spend $250 uh, for what you can get in a free app. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you have, please click subscribe below if you haven't done that and hit the bell icon to get notifications right away when I post to YouTube. 
like this video if you liked it. Uh, share it with other people if you think there's some value to them on this. Uh, leave a comment if you have an opinion on this. I, I got a lot of comments on my other Arsenal video and they, they keep coming in. Uh, so I seem to be doing some hand-to-hand -hand combat with some people on there and then uh, you know, have a little bit of love fest with the others. And if you want to learn how to take great sunset photographs, I've got a link below where you can get my free guide to take great sunset photographs. So this is Terrence. Hope you had a good time and I will see you soon.